Hey guys, hi. This is Abhishek, Master Teacher of Physics at Vedantu. I hope you are doing really well, and thank you so much for the amazing response for all the previous videos. We could really see that all this quiz series is working out really well for all of you. So with that, let us go ahead and rock in this particular session as well. Now, after every question, you will be specified some time. That is basically five to ten seconds to answer all the questions. If you know it really well, you can choose the options. Or apart from that, if you don't know the question, it's one simple thing: pause the video, solve it, then get the answer done. Okay? And please also do let us know basically how many answers you got it right at the end of this video in the comment sec section, and we'll be really happy to uh, see all the comments as you guys were already putting forward in the other videos. Looking forward for all the comments. Let's go ahead. So all the best, guys. Here is question number one. A square loop ABCD carrying a current I2 is placed near an coplanar with a long straight conductor XY carrying a current I1, as shown in the figure. The net force on the loop will be how much? A very easy question to start with. I hope all of you guys are doing it really well. Option A: mu naught I1 I2 by 2 pi. Option B: mu naught I1 I2 L upon 2 pi. Option C: 2 mu naught I1 I2 L upon 3 pi. Or option D: 2 mu naught I1 I2 upon 3 pi. I hope you got it right. This was just the beginning, and the correct option is option D: 2 mu naught I1 I2 upon 3 pi. Very well done. I hope you really got the solution to the first question. Moving on to the second one. All the best. A projectile is given an initial velocity of i cap plus 2j cap. The Cartesian equation of its path is option A, y is equal to x minus phi x square. Option B, y is equal to 2x minus phi x square. Option C, y is equal to 2x minus 15 x square. Or option D, y is equal to 2x minus 25 x square. Congratulations! If you got that right, it's definitely option B. Y is equal to 2x minus phi x square. Good job. Yes, moving on to question number three right now, and I could really see that this question has a interdisciplinary fashion because it mixes chemistry and physics both together. So the question is: When an ideal monoatomic gas is heated at constant pressure, the fraction of the heat energy supplied which increases the internal energy of the gas is what? Option A: two upon five. Option B: three upon five. Option C: three upon seven. Or option D. Five upon seven. This seems to be a really easy question, but a very important one, as I said, because it involves both chemistry and physics. So such kind of questions definitely end up in the AIMS examination. So I hope you definitely got this question right. It's option B, three upon five, and here is the solution. Another interesting question: Two slits are separated by a distance of 0.5 mm and illuminated with light of wavelength lambda is equal to 6,000 angstroms. If the screen is placed at 2.5 meters from the slits, the distance of the third bright fringe from the center will be. Remember the third bright fringe. So make sure that you're using the right formula. So option A, 1.5 mm. Option B, 3 mm. Option C, 6 mm. Or option D, 9 mm. Well, I believe you are smart enough to answer this question. The correct answer is option D, 9 mm. Very well done, guys. Super proud. Question number five: When a stretch wire and a tuning fork are sounded together, I mean together, five beats per second are produced. When length of wire is 95 centimeter, 100 centimeter, frequency of the fork will be option A, 90 hertz; option B, 100 hertz; option C, 105 hertz; or option D, 195 hertz. 
a rather looking simple question but might be difficult for all of you guys so let me know what is the answer and yes the answer to this particular question is option d 195 hertz amazingly well done guys if you got it right even if you didn't get it right do not worry it's okay sometimes even i go wrong in a lot of questions and trust me a lot of these questions are even hard for me so good job very well done so as i said do not lose confidence at all be completely confident because the rest of the questions might be yours Question number 6 A physical quantity x is given by 2k cube l square upon m root n the percentage error in the measurements of k l m and n are 1 percentage 2 percentage 3 percentage and 4 percentage respectively the value of x is uncertain by option a 8 percentage option b 10 percentage option c 12 percentage or option d none of these Now trust me when I say this, none of these is one of my favorite answers. Sometimes when I don't know the answer, I just go ahead and hit none of these. But here, let me give you a hint: the answer is not none of these. Yes. So my dear students, the correct option is option C, twelve percentage, and I believe you utilize that hint very clearly. Thank you so much. Just few more questions left. You are doing really great. Keep the energy going. Moving on to question number seven. Four massless springs whose force constants are 2k, 2k, k, and 2k respectively are attached to a mass m kept on a frictionless plane as shown in the figure. If the mass m is displaced in the horizontal direction, then the frequency of the system is option A, 1 by 2 pi root of k upon 4m. Okay. a lot of difficult options option b 1 by 2 pi root of 4k upon m option c 1 by 2 pi root of k upon 7m option d 1 by 2 pi root of 7k upon m a fairly difficult question so try to give me the answer but if you apply the formula i think you will be definitely getting this right so yes the correct answer for this question is 1 by 2 pi root of 4k upon m congratulations to all the students who got it right doing great keep the energy going question number 8 a circular coil of radius 10 cm 500 tons and resistance 2 ohm is placed with its plane perpendicular to the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field so it's perpendicular to the horizontal component interesting It is rotated about its vertical diameter through 180 degrees in 0.25 seconds. The current induced in the coil is if we assume horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field that place is 3 into 10 power minus 5 tesla, let us know what is the correct answer. Guys, this is a very interesting problem where you have to visualize the question. If you are good at that, this will come out to be really easy and obviously you should know the formula. The correct option is, or I should say, the options are: option A, 1.9 into 10 power minus 3 amperes; option B, 2.9 into 10 power minus 3 amperes; option C, 3.9 into 10 power minus 3 amperes; or option D, 4.9 into 10 power minus 3 amperes. And if you got it right, it is definitely option A, 1.9 into 10 power minus 3 amperes. Awesome. Moving on to one another very interesting, difficult-looking question. The question is: same spring is attached with 2 kg, 3 kg, and 1 kg blocks in three different cases, as shown in the figure. If x1, x2, x3 be the extensions in the spring in the three cases, then x1 is equal to zero, where x3 is greater than x2. Or option B, x1 greater than x2 and greater than x3. Option C, x3 greater than x2 and x2 greater than x1. Or finally, option D, x2 greater than x1 and x1 greater than x3. So what do you guys think? A lot of x's in this question. I hope that's not the case. And 
option B, correct option goes to option D, x2 greater than x1, which is greater than x3. Very well done. So, we had a lot of x's in our previous question. I hope that's not the same case in your real life. Okay, just kidding. Moving on to the final question for today. Thank you so much for enjoying this series of questions. We are so fortunate to have such a lovely audience. Moving on to question number 10, all the best. Light of two different frequencies whose photons have energies 1 electron volt and 2.5 electron volt respectively successively illuminate a metallic surface whose work function is 0.5 electron volts. Ratio of maximum speeds of emitted electrons will be... So, it's a ratio. What do you guys think? Option A, 1 is to 4. Or option B, 1 is to 1. Option C, 1 is to 5. Or option D, 1 is to 2. And the answer for the final question is... Option D, 1 is to 2. Congratulations to all of you guys who got all the questions correct. Even if you have not got it, I am pretty sure you gave your hell lot of work for this, isn't it? And that's what matters guys. Keep working hard, keep doing really great. Thank you so much for joining us for this particular session. Put down your thoughts about this particular quiz series and how many questions you got it right in the comments down below. If you like this video, hit that like button and definitely keep supporting us with your love. Thank you so much guys. So again, this is Abhishek signing off for today. Until we meet next time, enjoy your life. Bye-bye. Take care.